Toy Tractor Times is here at the 2018 Lafayette Farm Toy Show with Christian Oyster from Alliance, Ohio. Uh, we've gotten to see a lot of displays from Christian over the years out at the National Farm Toy Show, several here at Lafayette. You were the 2017 display contest winner. Uh, so what, what do you have for us this year? Well, today I'll go over front of display. Brand new, pretty much. It's really nice with the water there and the cattle yard and the barn. I like how it's out and over. What, what style barn is this when they... That's a Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. 4K barn. Okay. So, so I'm actually from Ohio, but there's still there's quite a few okay. of them. So you would, uh, you would drop your hay down underneath that, right. that area up through right. there and see the bail wagon sitting in there. Justin Miller actually built the uh, brass hay feeder. I've been wanting one of those for quite a while and finally finally found somebody to do one for me. That's good. He did all the cows as well, used uh, Sean Lockwood's new ear tags on them. Okay. It's yep. a nice detail. See that? yellow ear tag there and it's like everybody is uh, tagged out here in the, the pen and the yard. Got some wrap bales. Actually made those out of a, a uh, wooden dowel rod and then some Teflon tape sealing the wooden dowel rod down so you got that kind of rounded edge kind of misshaped in some spots and then just wrap the Teflon tape around it. Got the old uh, 258 roll bar right now tell me about this silo. That's pretty nice. Oh, so that silo actually started life as an Ertl silo. Okay. I uh, sanded all the, the bands down around it and then sanded the ladder off and then added new ones using thread and some uh, jewel bead little pieces. Uh, Waved those down on there and it, it, it came out real well. I was real pleased with the results. I like all the rust there. Got the open door. Now is this still in use? I see the blower here. Uh, probably would be. Probably use it for some okay. mileage, for some uh, mileage. What brand of blower is that? That's a New Holland. New Holland, okay. The old New Holland roller feeds. More uh, net wrap bales up here. Yep. Is that an H&S uh, carrier? Yep. Scratch built that over the summer. Uh, tell me about the wa bell wagon here. So I, I had those designed 3D printed. I finished that one up. They're actually designed off of a uh, Meyer 18 okay. foot box. But I ended up, I did that one up as a John Deere, kind of a green and yellow, something different. Sure. It looks pretty, looks pretty well as that. Weathered it up a little bit to give it that kind of rusted aged look like it's been sitting outside for a while. Speaking of rust, we got the kind of junk pile here with uh, Ford tractor in there. And yep, that's the one thing wagons. people always said. I didn't have enough junk on my farm, so I added some there it this is. year. Now, is this uh, IH plow still in use? Or? Uh, probably, maybe every now and then they might okay. take it out and use it on an old hay field or something like that. Sure. And uh, I want to shoot back here to this side of the Pennsylvania barn. You got the, the bank entrance in there. And uh, you see can take the, the roof off there too if you want to look inside oh, cool. of it. Look at that. I always enjoyed you know, going through old barns like these and um, I'm guessing that's like a staircase down to the basement there. Yep, yep. You and get your, uh, uh, your greenery over on the other side there. Got the bell elevator to shut all the bells up to where you need to and looks like it's time to start refilling. Yeah, probably don't do too much square bailing anymore but everybody's pretty much switching over to round bales or sure. the big squares. but. Still keep a little bit in there for every now and then. And so you scratch build the, this barn yourself? Yes, I did. My dad and I actually built it together. Okay. And I wanted to show this side had the mail pouch. So do you hand paint that all on there? It's actually it... a decal. Okay, wow. It turned Looks out great. real well. We're real happy with the way it turned out. Well, uh, we've got a pond here, which that's really cool. Thank you. That's, it's actually in Virotech's uh, resin I mixed up and used okay. to Woodland Scenics Deep Water Murky tint the tenant that color I love that that's something that's, that's turned out to be here. a pretty good detail and not, not a lot of people a lot of people think it's real tough but it's really it's actually it's an easy detail to get on your display looks like maybe a duck coming down there yep, you got a couple a couple ducks or swans sitting okay. in the pond swimming you got a boat where do you get a boat that's actually a model tech studios boat okay got the 
cattails and ducks out on the water. Yep. And uh, let's talk about this tractor. I mean, that's uh, okay. really nice. So, what model is that? That's a 6R from uh, Zeb Mueller. There with a cool, nice weather. And I mean, Zeb used a mix of 3D parts, brass. Yep. He's got a loader here in the tractor, a 7R in the, the contest this year. And when you look at it, what it started out as, I mean, he just he does, does incredible he does a job. Great job. And we got the mailbox. Yep, that's a 3D printed part from Jensen. Cattails along the culvert. And now, where do you um, get your telephone poles or that? Sorry, the electric lines. Um, those the electric lines are actually just black thread. Okay. And then the telephone poles are a Woodlands or a uh, Wolfers kit. Okay. Well, you can see they go along the road and then right up to the house and also onto the buildings, which is pretty cool. Uh, tell me about this house. So the house actually started life as a branch line kit. Okay. I uh, decided I wanted to, I have to change everything up a little bit, so I switched a few parts around, did a different style roof on the back addition there, and then added a chimney, and just de detailed up a few other things. Added the uh, antenna tower there with the pole light. It's got an exhaust stack all coming out of the roof. So I was going to ask you, I noticed there was like just a little something sticking up out That's of the yard. That's actually the wheel head there. Wheel head, okay. Nice. And then you missed the wheelbarrow down there and got the water spigot yep. in the barn. American flag. Now this is the second display I've seen at the show with uh, clothes on the line. That's pretty cool. Got the zero turn mower. Is that a Gravely there? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's one of the Farm Factor 3D kits. Okay. Uh, tell me about the equipment in here. That's always my favorite stuff. What's the farm run for equipment? Uh, so first we have a uh, an S-Series grain truck. I did that up for the show actually last year. Okay. We've got a scratch built bed on the back of it. Uh, sitting on a, just a stretched uh, top shelf frame. And then next up we have one of uh, Jensen's wagons that I finished out. Nice Parker wagon. It's a nice weather Parker wagon. And then we've got a Kill Bros. Green cart. And probably Jason's favorite. No we've doubt got about the it. White 2500 combine and the 22 foot green had to go with it. Uh, Scratch built the uh, Dodge truck there with, using a uh, green light truck. Aaron Jensen's uh, 3D printed rims. Well, that's a really neat combine. I, I would like to find one to film for big tractor power. Uh, a real one because it, it's a Gleaner R52 right. um, from the early 90s, introduced in 1992. But they sold them at white dealers as the white 2500, and then there's a larger white 2600 based on the R62. So that, that's just a really cool combine to yep. make your display stand out. It's got the uh, folding yeah. ladder, detailed interior, roof comes off so you can add a figure. Nice work. Thank you. Now we got some other equipment in the shed here. <laughs> you know, I really like this shed. Did you build this yourself, kind of the A-frame? Yes, that's actually, I found that in a uh, 1975 Ohio Farmer magazine. Mm -hmm. found an ad for it. It was 40 by 72, which is what I modeled this after. Uh, they wanted, it was $6,000 to build back in, back in 1975. So I thought that was kind of a neat. I was like these, different. like when they did the plastic uh, panels to get the light Great. in them. And that's just, fun. And you can see. Good job. Thank you. So let's see, I see an Oliver 2255 in there. Yeah, weathered that up. It's actually got some different color rims on it. I kind of wanted to go for a, the more sure. weathered beat look on that. Do I see a Super M in there? Yeah, that's a Formal M. Okay. And a very nice uh, 346 uh, kick baler. Yep. And then we got a Vermeer round baler. Yep. And an old John Deere flail shredder. Better come around this way and see what else we're missing. We got a uh, Landall six row planter. Done by oh, wow. Tim Holker. Yeah, that's really neat. Those uh, came from the Deutsch Alice planter, and Landall took them over. 
Now I see a mixer mill tucked in there. Yep, archway. And uh, which model white field bus is in there? That's a 285. Very nice. I see the corn head, it looks like maybe for the yep. combine. Yep, stuck in the yep. corner back there. It must be the summer, so they're not, not planning on using it for a little while. Well, I like that 285. You never know what uh, might be coming down the pike this fall. Yeah. That's, uh, and then we got a big white, so they must have been an all over uh, white farm. What model uh, field bus is that? That's a 4210. 4210. Yeah. Customized yeah. that out of the uh, National Show track yeah. a couple years ago. Just weathered it up, added a few details. It's got a, uh, took the fenders off. There's a lot of yep. them that are common without the fenders. So they yeah. are. And we got yeah. the cross. Three point hitch, 3D. Cross disc cooked up there and see that 3D. That was built by uh, Kerry G out of South Carolina. Okay. You did a great job. Oh, that's a fantastic piece. Well, here's another cool tractor. Uh, I always like the sound guards with the four post ROPs. Um, yep. yeah, what model is that? Uh, it's a 4230 John Deere okay. with a uh, 148 loader on it. Nice. Gonna kind of mature the shop. I mean, 3D now you got rakes, I and mean, I've never seen a leaf rake. You know, that's awesome. The ladders, power washer, all stove. the uh, hose reels actually do pull out and wow. spin back in. The level of detail that people are putting in, uh, you know, I always ask our washers, you know, if you want to know what it takes to compete, you got to look at these details. How does it look in real life? And uh, we've got the tractor crossing sign. The shop was definitely one, one spot that I needed to improve in, I knew, so I tried yep, this year to add as much detail as I could. Got the drain on the floor. That's... Well, Christian, it, it sure looks good. That's uh, just a fantastic display. You do great work, it. and uh, I always enjoy you sharing it on Toy Tractor Times uh, Toy Talk and bringing these out to the show for people to see. Yep, thank you. Well, again, thanks for the tour, and uh, look forward to seeing what you dream up next. Sounds good. Thank you. Well, Christian, congratulations. You took first place for the second year in a row here at the Lafayette Toy Show. You've got the Toy Tractor Times first place trophy with our gold Ford 9000. Well-deserved. Very great display. Thank you, Jason. And uh, why don't we just take a walk around the display one more time. Uh, you've got all the roofs back on the barns and just kind of look at the farm with the sun's going down outside so it kind of gives nice lighting uh, we've got the uh, the 6R here what model number was this again uh, it's probably a 6215R okay oh, it just uh, looks very realistic got the pond here and just love the reflection of the barn and everything on it well, yes, I Well, what kind of time do you put into building a barn like that? I mean, is that that's to be a honest big with project. you, I really don't have any idea. My dad and I kind of do those together, so I'll start off with, I'll get an idea of what I want to do. I'll build the foundation, get all the doors cut, the windows cut, um, get the, the floor on and all that kind of stuff, and then I'll send it to him, and we'll, uh, he'll frame it up for me. We'll get an idea of what we want to do, what size we want, what kind of a roof slope we want and uh, we'll frame it up and then I'll get it and I'll stain it and then I'll go through and cut all the siding for it and then glue all the siding on and then we both kind of finish it up. Uh, this one really kind of came together real quick. I just ended up getting the decal for the two mail pouch tobacco uh, on Wednesday night so we just barely got sure. it on. Well you know and something I missed earlier was that you can see the kind of the cobblestone foundation up against the uh, cinder block there. Right that's where it would have been probably the old uh, wall probably would have been falling in or needed replaced so they ended up just replacing it but the one part obviously was still okay so just replace what you need to replace and get by it's a great detail we've got a tim holker uh Dave Salas l3 looking good on the on the farm and then of course we come around here you can see that nice bank driveway i like how you uh have the drive you know the cut through we still got some grass up there on the bank uh, again the house just um, great with the chimney and the light and the clothes. Uh, we've got the roof on the 1970, 1975 building. And yep. I, I missed this before again. I got the Ford Louisville hood sitting back there, an old camper. It's always neat to see what collects on a farm out behind the building. So. That's the one thing people always, people yeah. kind of said I needed some more junk around the yep. farm, so I tried to hit that. 
something harder this time. And earlier we saw the uh, Oliver 2255 and the Landall corn planter inside the building, and now we've got them out here. We can just get a quick look. Again, you mentioned the rims were different. Right. Uh, looks like it's seen a lot of hours out in the field. And oh yeah, she's, she's pretty well beat. These Landall planters are late 1990s, and they um, came from Deutz Ellis to Landall, and before that, Ellis Chalmers. So, very cool variation to have out there. It's Tim Hooper built that and did a great job on it. You can he, see that. Designed it and everything, so. Sure did. And then we've got the uh, all the, the roof on the building, and see the combines and the truck, and loaded tractor in the shop. Got the white four wheel drive. Take one more look at the junk in here. Got the GSI bin, and this was a cool thing that Tim Holker also had at the truck contest with a load star, and it's a neat truck to see, and we stuck it out here for the tour, just to show off some different classics. It's definitely a nice piece. So, will we get to see it at another show? I hope so. I'm looking yeah. forward to building another display, hopefully maybe going to Nationals this year again, so. Sounds good. We'd love to see you out there. Sounds good. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Congratulations.